Hello everybody, this is Power, and welcome back to more Let's Play Heroes Chain of Memories. And uh, I am through the danger zone. And as far speaking as that, of flying, <laughs> hi motherfucking bird, bird colossus. Hi. And as you can tell, we have some guests. We have uh, Shack in Darkness and Lysa Jakes. And that is a big fucking bird. Yes, it is. Hey, striking. Hey, striking. I'm gonna kill this one for you. Woo! Okay, so, uh. <laughs> kill my parrot! Kill it! Kill it with the arrows! How, how big is your parrot? Last time we defeated Riku. And. As big as you want it to be. In between, okay, uh. I'm gonna say it's five centimeters smaller than this, so it is not your parrot. God damn it, please, just kill it. <laughs> Fucking release me from my torment. <laughs> and, uh. Today I've been doing some grinding level, grinding some levels. Last time I was, I believe, level 33. Now we're level 40. And all that one took a lot of time out of my day. Two hours. Fucking Indeed. Fucking grinding in fucking chain of memories is a bitch anyway. Yep. So, next world is Neverland. Let's go. Okay, it is time for me to figure out how to hurt this bird just sitting on a perch. Now where are we? I think I think you get to the point where you start or it starts flying around and you're on it, you have to go around and stab it. Yeah, but I have to get up on top of the perch first. The floor is kind of easy. I can hear the ocean, too. I'm swimming in the ocean. <sighs> I don't know, we must be on top of a shot. They turn around. Well, Turns we both... Turns out well, I was playing Jack and Daxter this whole time and I get eaten by that orange fish. <laughs> well, we better find a way out. But which way do we go? Power. Who are you? The only way to go is up. I see its tail. I am going to swim for it. Maybe she's trying to help us. Oh, so my only one who got that reference? I don't know. Maybe the viewers did. Looks... I didn't know that was a reference. It was an Edit and Eddie reference. Looks okay, like then. you're right. Okay, what can I do? Can I shoot a bow in this? No, I cannot. Can I swing a sword in the water? No, I cannot. And we got two beginnings. Welcome to Neverland. I have to get it off. I have to get it off that perch somehow. So, the way to do that yeah, is. Oh, one second. Is there something wrong? Okay, uh, So, we got some pirate harmless. And that boy is going slow. Come on. Really? Oh, hey. What? Uh, I don't think for the, the tag ocean thing. I mean, you could do like a. Maybe typo if he's interested. Uh, custom stories for Left 4 Dead. Yeah, could do that. Okay, so we got Goofy. Uh, that's if Typo wants to get into first person shooters. We can give him an axe. How about that? The paper was getting the first uh, shooters. During the grind, we got some new moves. Uh, where oh, is yeah. it? You could finally, you could finally jump and then hit your keyblade. It's a wonderful thing, guys. No, we learned the move. Uh, I think it's the move tornado. 
and I'm trying to get all the pieces together while I'm losing health. Just a quick question, how far in the game are you? I'm in the second to last world. Probably, I think. Neverland. No. Now, have you, um, no, that Neverland is not the second to last world. Oh god, you're playing this blind. Yes. Oh my god. This game is very, very long. I'm just gonna tell you now, you had to fight Roxas like four times. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's not Roxas. It's not Roxas. I meant Riku. What am I talking about? Oh. Uh, well, I think I already fought him twice. You're still nowhere near. Okay. This game is incredibly long. The bird is flying. Well, the next world. Well, well, the next world after it never ended is Hall of Bastion. I ended my LP at. Island. Because of ROM crash. The ROM won't work no more. Oh. Alright. And I really need to heal. Please stop hitting me. So did go, go, go. No, it did not. Okay. Ooh. And used. Oh, work, so. Am I not supposed to be? Am I not the source of the Oh, go to menu and go to status and see if then I am not that. supposed to be here. So, the first move that I got there in grinding was Homing Blizz Bazaar, which casts, casts a Bazaar spell that seeks out and targets the enemy. I actually move to the next page. You need arrow, blizzard, and any match card. Next move is Aqua Splash. You spray melted ice at the enemies over a period of time, reflecting ice edge. You need blizzard, fire, and arrow. And I will click. You need gravity, Simba, and any match card. Warpinator. Stop gravity and arrow. And I don't know why I'm pressing the left button. It eliminates the close enemy, but it's not always just successful. And Gift of Mir Miracle loads cards and resets the count while restoring HP to friends and allies. I mean, friends to foes. And you use any summon, magic, and you need Jack card. Holy shit, Lighter. Something shocking what? is happening. What? A new Intel Core processor? Being complete shit. And oh, yeah, man. these guys. I think these are the. I've got these. And AMD is making a comeback. Dude, something's wrong happening. It is. Oh, well. well, AMD is always a good graphics card manager. They're just not good on the processor. Yeah, and apparently the new one is good on their processor. Like I said, something fucked up's going on here. I'm guessing that like something happened, like at a convention or something, and they, somebody had the plans for the processors in their briefcases, and the briefcases got mixed up, and they had the same combination and everything. <laughs> Well, you know, because those, like, those store-bought ones have like a 96% chance of having the same combination. One, two, three, four. Four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, and they could they could have gotten swapped, yeah. They could have gotten swapped and was like... So, uh, and so yeah. they ended up getting a bad processor. <laughs> so let's try using... That's all I can think of right now. Tornado! Or somebody Great is doing a creature key. swap on him. Cree. I mean, male sky. Because we all know how much in Intel sucks when they come to a graphics card. Yeah. Does there, like, every basic computer have Intel? Every basic computer has an Intel integrated graphics card, and it sucks like fuck. I have Intel. It sucks like fuck, don't it? Uh, it 
score for on um, Final Fantasy 14. It's hard. I'm just gonna step out of the way of AMD and Intel and just keep with my NVIDIA. I am. Oh yeah, I've been thinking of actually. Where's my Amazon wish list? I had. I had like a. Rivers. Getting an NVIDIA uh, thing. <sighs> their graphics, their graphics cards are crazy Fuck it. Good. Oh yeah. Uh, I plan on getting the the three seven seventy K quad core processor by Intel, which is three point five yeah. gigahertz with an eight megabyte cache. Um, now, what's great about uh, Nvidia is that uh, <laughs> is that pretty much uh, Unreal, see, any Unreal Engine runs like perfectly on a good Nvidia graphics card. Oh yeah. Oh. I mean, hell, they they test that shit with fucking Nvidia. It's great. I'm trying to see what the newest Nvidia graphics card is. Cause. Anytime they make a new right. Unreal Engine, I want you to think about this for a moment. Uh, since uh, Unreal Tournament 2003, anytime they make a new Unreal Engine, they uh, see they have a special little thing for you. If, I believe I have a it, it's a pretty old uh, GeForce graphics card, but. I think it it's still works perfectly. GeForce uh, 4200 or something like that. You can always check, just like go to your start and type in graphics, and then you know, just go start typing graphics. Well, you're on Windows 7. You yeah, it, it does the same. It does the same thing on Windows XP. It doesn't change it. The, pro the program you look it up, it doesn't change anything. You just click Change Advanced Color Management Setting for Displays. And it'll show it, you know, it's like display one generic PMP monitor, AMD, Radeon, HD, 6530D. That's my current graphics card. Let me see here. How the fuck did I look at my shit again before? Just, uh, just click start, the start button, go to search, type in graphics, then open up the change advanced color management settings for display. Oh, I see graphics settings to DirectX 9. Okay, so it's in next door. So we should go to which card, which card? And it's the uh, DirectX 9 graphics settings for Civilization 5, so. Uh, graphics. How long did you own an XP again? Um, I had an XP for a good about nine years. That's nice. I've had this for about a full year. Let me see here. Oh yeah, I remember how you do it. Okay, let's see here. I guess I believe that's how you do it. Okay, where's my computer? Right click. Properties. Blow them all away, no more. Three, uh, I need four. to. I need to swap. I think I need to swap out the graphics cards with this thing in my old computer because in this computer it has an AMD Athlon 64 processor, uh, 3500, 3500 plus. What about in the old one? The pro game is better. Who got the pirate? My old one could handle graphics. We handle better graphics. So it's both, but both of their sound explore. cards needed updating, though. Yeah. Uh, so a GeForce GTX Titan, I believe 384 bit is like a 64 bit for is a, is a 64. It's the graphics. It's the graphics card for the 64 bit computers. Yeah, uh, new Titan goes up for one thousand three hundred dollars on Newegg.com. Yeah, I'm on their site right now. Desktop GeForce GTX Titan. Let's see here. I just take VGA for some reason though. What? Yeah, because for some reason mine says EVGA. It doesn't say that for me. Newegg thing. I'm not on Newegg. Um, uh, 
I'm on the. I, 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 got, I, am on the, I just went back into the video site too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm on the G4 site. The G4. 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 <laughs> Titan. The DNA of the world's fastest supercomputer is sold in NVIDIA Kepler architecture. The GeForce GTX Titan GPU is a revolution of PC game performance. The GeForce GTX Titan graphics card combines oh, right. power, advanced control features, and game changing thermal and acoustic capability to provide Thunder. an entirely class of super performance graphics card. Here is the key features, the, the specs for the GTX Titan. Uh, it comes with uh, the GPU Bose 2.0. Comes with the physics technology, the FXAA technology, adaptive processing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, comes with the ground, yeah. all made by NVIDIA. And, mm -hmm. it, and it has support for four concurrent displays, including two dual link DVIs, an yeah. HD and uh, HDMI, and a display port, which has a 1.2 uh, 1 port. So it comes with uh, micro Microsoft Rex X 11.1 API feature level like and... level. Right. It He's comes done. with uh, Project Shield ready, Nvidia 3D Vision ready, uh, SLI ready, CUDA. Right. The more the more you look at this, the more you want it, don't you? Oh fuck yeah! It comes with PCI Express <laughs> 3.0. So it supports PCI 3.0. <laughs> and it has an open, and it has an open GL 4.3 support. Let's see here. Asus GeForce GTX Titan 6 gigabyte 384 bit GDDD the GDDR5 PCI Express 3.0 SLI support video card for $1,260.73 on Amazon. The cheapest you can get it is uh, from EVGA. So we have two. Well, on Amazon so, from uh, EVGA. Yeah, I. I Yeah, for like $1,300. Like, uh, one you could get. Like, There's the one, one you can get for $1,000. Yeah, for like $1,020, yeah. Ugh. But I'd rather still get, pretty good though. I, yeah, I, me, I'd rather get the expensive, more expensive one, the one with the, the PCI Express 3.0. Mhm. Mm I'm sorry, but when you have a a core clock of 928 me megahertz a second, with the boost of 980 megahertz per second, you're fucking doing good. It wouldn't have been able to run shit. So I had to go with the AMD. Yeah. Because uh, this was the, it was because this was the only one my dad would shell out for. That was like anything near a quad core, and this is a dual core, so sad face. By the way, I got picked up. Lucky. You got what? Cookie dough. Okay then. And supposedly, this thing oh. so, uh, can. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Supposedly this thing can run up to like three monitors. I wouldn't be surprised. I would love the shit out of it if it could. I mean, really. The G-Force is like the best shit. Yeah, out there, yeah. Especially if, especially if you get it new. Oh, if you could get that shit new, you're in for the fucking time. Because then you can get one... Because then you can have a one com you can get an HDMI monitor and have a set of one that. Yeah. And here's the awesome. thing. If you bought like the GeForce GTX Titan, you wouldn't have to upgrade the games for like another good uh two or three years. At least three or four years. That's pretty sweet. The thing is, the three D surround uh, 3D surround sound. Mm -hmm. And it can do monitors at maxed out settings. <laughs> yes, it can. Just imagine being able to play like King. Oh, jeez, what, what's a very graphics heavy game? Um. Borderlands. Crisis is pretty. 
Crisis 3 is a pretty, uh... Oh, yeah. Crisis. Crisis. Lance is not a <laughs> graphic heavy game. It that is, is not. That's processor heavy. Yeah, that's processor heavy. That is nowhere near <laughs> graphics heavy. It, though the thing, like, the number one thing you think of when you think processor heavy is instantly Minecraft. Yeah, it... Cause if that's, you, but that's mostly, like, Java taxing. True. But, uh, which is why I plan on getting, uh, yeah. the Intel i7-3770, uh, 3770K quad-core processor. Yeah. Uh, that's only, like, 320 bucks on Amazon, so it's not that bad. It's a decent price for a good processor. Mm -hmm. Especially at 3.5 gigahertz. Damn, guys, I love Nice. But every time I look at this, it makes me just wanna makes me just wanna like <laughs> fucking orgasm again. Orgasm. <laughs> He's nerding out. I am I a computer I'm a computer geek. You can't fucking help it, okay? Shut up. Hey. I wasn't saying that I'm not either. I don't know nothing about no tanks. See, this is why me and my folks, we like to stay, uh... We like to stay, uh, loyal with, uh, NVIDIA. I, I, if I could, I would've stayed loyal to NVIDIA in the first place. Oh, yes, yes, but since, yes, but there's since two monitor more. ports! Two monitor ports! I can do my fucking, finally start up my multi-monitor system! <laughs> Yatta. Yeah, but since we're poor, we can't afford like new graphics cards for all our computers, so we're just gonna have to bear with uh, these shitty ass non NVIDIA things. Well, actually, I did see one for like 999. Yeah, I know, but still. I know, that is, that is expensive. And you guys are flat broke, yeah. Yeah, every time you bring that up, like, oh, yeah, I didn't see that. We could totally buy that. Well, we really can't. If it, if it helps. If it helps at all. I can get you a GTX 770 for 500. You don't have to. The two just, say, just save up for your GTX Titan, dude. <laughs> I gotta start doing that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, let me let me go to my bank site. Let me see if I can make a separate account on the internet for transferring money. Oh okay. God. Make a savings account so I can start fucking saving up for my com fucking computer shit. Mhm. Mm let's see what cards you add. 3D Vision Surround, Celai, DirectX 11, CUDA, 3D Vision, Physx. TX double A, the Saint. So at fourteen. No, I would have to. You would have to. I would have to go to my bank and make a new one when I get paid. Right. I wish my bank would allow me to make. Fucking mm -hmm. payments. Mm -hmm. I only have ten bucks. I've got to learn to start saving better. Oh, lad, why are you, why are you here? Why are you here, lad? That's the gateway from 2003. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I know that feel. And I, I mean, I, I say that mostly because. AMD tries to make their shit. AMD, AM, uh, AMD makes their shit small. They really do, yeah. The NVIDIA, the, they're like, you know what? We're gonna make good shit. We don't give what fucking size it is. We don't give a fuck what size you want it. You're getting it the size we made it. Which is why the NVIDIA, I think, has the biggest graphics card known to man. <laughs> Yeah, because they, they're not afraid to make it big. I think they have, like, the record for them. Like, like, yeah. like, Guinness. I think if you look it up in Guinness, you might be able to see that uh, the video has the biggest... 
There's only six oh, left on him. <laughs> <laughs> when was this released? What? When was this item released? When was the Titan released? Um, so close. Come on. Go back to hardware. Give me a second. I gotta put the cookie. Well, a guy gotta put the cookie away. Okay then. GeForce GTX Shite the Titan. Push him back. And cleaning this. Yeah, I'm looking for him. Yeah. Let's see what's in that other chair. Yeah. I know I don't want to do these fights, but I want to. Slash him. Looking, this is giving me like an electronic card on. <laughs> okay, thanks for telling me yours, then. It's not a real hard on. Titan so powered by the fastest GPU on the planet. <laughs> I would here. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> because that just gives you so much more of an e boner. It does! Shut up! Um, it, it is built with the same NVIDIA Kepler architecture that powers Oak Ridge National Laboratory's newly launched Titan supercomputer, which is number one in the list of top 500 supercomputers in the world. Bigger e-boner, bigger e-boner, bigger e-boner. This is like the best thing. What is giving me an e boner? <laughs> no, I mean the <laughs> GTX Titan. And this is being publicly released, guys. Like, come on. There's no way you can get better than this. Is it just yeah, literally... me or all the room sorry for the same? Yeah, mm. you could say that. Maybe so we're just going in circles. Oh, the GeForce yeah. GTX Titan contains 7 billion transistors, has 2,668 GPU cores, 75% more than the company's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 GPU, delivers 4.5 teraflops of single precision and 1.3 teraflops of double precision processing power. So, for its new GPU Boost 2.0 technology, which automatically boosts graphics performance and supports unlocked voltage and advanced controls for even more game control and overclocking customization. I'm just going to stop you right there and say the games that this games that were made for this was Met one of them is Metro Last Light. So yeah. I'm I'm, I'm more going to say that my computer is way underpowered. <laughs> it's now I'm going I'm going to. I got this little marker Your here. Your computer is scared right now. I got this marker here. I'm making a sad face on it. You're making a sad face on your computer because of how scared it is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is, like, terrified. It's like, oh shit, if you shove this thing inside me, I'm gonna kill you. 
my super duper computer. Fuck you. Just, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but just imagine if someone has like three, like ten of these in their computer. Their computer will explode. <laughs> no doubt about that. There is yep. like no processor that can ha that can even handle ten, ten of these things. Oh, fucking this is, they wouldn't have to fucking shove an air conditioner inside of the cage just for it to keep cool. <laughs> it's a good thing that my dad has one of those uh, cases that have the uh, have the ra have the coolant radiator inside of the case. Yeah, I I don't know what mine is. I think I just got a standard fan. I want to get a certain one. I, do I have it on here? I, uh, you, you, if you get this, you gotta upgrade your power, your power supply, so you gotta do that too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take up a lot of power. I, I don't even think just 1,000 watt I have in my wish list would do it. Yeah, this thing, like, this is not made for ordinary gaming. No, this is like, hey, you want to run everything on a maximum setting? You want to make sure you can see every little fucking detail in every game released? Put one of no, these no, no, in no. your computer. The, and... No, no, no. This thing is not made for ordinary gaming. This thing is made for the most elite. The, the people who will pay millions of dollars to have that very experience. This is for people who have too much money to spend and a nice house and everything I don't have. Uh, this is for a super computer. This is for a super gaming computer. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this an episode. So, uh, <laughs> next time on Chain Memories, we're gonna be continue through Neverland. See you guys. Later. Peace. Okay. Bye.